time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this right your video started. So I just reacted the other day to the video of um, how Lord Ram and his brother Lakshman ended their avatar, you know, for Lord Vishnu, because he comes back as the Ram. They always come back as a pair, the, the Shisha and and Lord Vishnu. Well, he also came as Lord Krishna, right? And his brother, uh, ba how do you say his name? Balaram? Balaram? Well, this is about how they died. Lord, how did they, how did... Lord uh, Krishna and his brother in their avatar. I, wa I was like, well, let's find this one out because I had learned some stuff with the Lord Ram and all. So y'all ready to do this? Let's just get it started. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, Krishna it. was the eighth incarnation of Lord Vishnu, the preserver Hi, among the Hindu trinity. While there is unanimous acceptance on various events of his life, like his birth, there is often debate on how Krishna really? ended his avatar. While some believe that Krishna died in isolation, some debate that if Krishna was the supreme god himself, how could he die? Who could have possibly had the power to kill him? According to an ancient narration, it all began when the Kurukshetra war between the Pandavas and Kauravas ended. There were remains of destruction everywhere. Pandavas, despite winning the war, were unhappy. The blindfolded Gandhari was shedding tears for her 99 dead sons. Her husband, the blind king Dhritarashtra, stood by her side seeming helpless. One day, the Pandavas, accompanied by Krishna, arrived into the chambers of Gandhari to offer apologies and condolences. But she was devastated at the death of her sons. I thought she In her it, rage, right? ignoring the Pandavas, she aggressively came up to Lord Krishna and poured her anger on him. According to her, the mass killing could have been avoided by Krishna, but he did not. Her grief turned into vengeance and she cursed Krishna that if her devotion towards Lord Vishnu was pure and if she was true to her husband all her life, then 36 years from that day, Krishna would die. His kingdom Dwarka would be flooded and the entire Yadava clan of Sri Krishna will be destroyed. Soon after the outburst, she realized that she got carried away and fell on Krishna's knees and started crying. Mm. Krishna lifted her up and smiled. He told Gandhari that her curse will take effect, not only because of her true devotion to Vishnu, but also because change is inevitable and is the primary law of the universe. He knew that Yadavas under his protection were very powerful mm -hmm. and no one could defeat them. They had also begun misusing that oh, power. He saw that before his own race becomes a burden on earth, it was time that their destruction happens. What did they do? A few years passed and under the leadership of Yudhishthira as the king of Hastinapur, everyone lived a happy and peaceful life. People in Krishna's Dwarika were living in bliss. Oh, yeah. Once. Great sages like Vishwamitra, Durvasa, Vashishta and others were out on a pilgrimage. After visiting many holy places, they decided to head to Dwarika to meet Lord Krishna and his elder brother Balaram. A group of Yadava boys, upon seeing the sages, decided to play a prank they on them. A prank. Oh, the Krishna boys dressed up Samba, the son of Krishna and Jambavati, as a pregnant woman and went up to the sages and started mocking them. Through their yogic powers, the sages realized that it was a boy in a woman's attire. This misconduct of the Yadava boys infuriated the sages. Really? They cursed that the very next day, Samba would give birth to a lump of iron, which will lead to the destruction of the entire Yadava race. The boys initially took it as a joke, but the next day Samba developed a labor pain and delivered a lump of iron. iron. The boys were now terrified if this lump of iron would also destroy their what? race. So they crushed the lump of iron into a fine powder. While they powdered the entire iron, 
They missed one small triangular iron piece as it was extremely difficult to crush it down. So the boys took the fine powder and the one small triangular iron piece and dumped it into the sea. Later, a fish swallowed the triangular piece of iron and this fish was caught by a hunter named Jera. Oh, this gets different. When he cut this open the fish, he found yeah. the metal and used it to craft a fine poisonous arrow that would help him hunting. As time passed by, the powdered iron washed what back the to the shores and was deposited at the coast of Dwarka. Mm. A certain kind of grass grew in lush abundance where the powder was deposited. Mm. 36 years had passed and it was time uh -oh. for Gandhari's curse to oh, take effect. No. One evening, the Yadavas gathered on the beach, completely drunk and out of their senses. So they they so began they talking of the glories and gruesome mistakes of the past, pointing fingers and mocking one another. Among the Yadava men, Satyaki had fought in the Kurukshetra war alongside the Pandavas and Kritavarma was on the side of the Kaurava army. A drunk Satyaki began insulting Kritavarma, oh, saying start. that a yeah. true Kshatriya would never slay unarmed enemies the way Kritavarma killed the sons of Pandavas in their sleep. Pradyumna, the son of Krishna, applauded Satyaki for his honesty and began accusing Kritavarma too. Eventually, a fight broke amongst the men. Since the Yadavas had come to the seashore for pleasure, none of them carried any weapons. They saw the long-grown grass in abundance and picked up its stem and blade-like long leaves and attacked each other till death. What? By the next morning, oh all the Yadava men had died except Krishna and his two charioteers, Daruka and Babru. What is going on? The charioteers reached Krishna and informed him everything that had happened to the Yadavas. They also mentioned that the whereabouts of Balarama was not <gasps> Balarama known. Was already Hearing this, Krishna sent Daruka to Hastinapur and informed Dharmaraj Yudhishthir of the mass massacre of Yadavas. And Krishna, on the other hand, set out to find Balaram. He found Balaram sitting under a tree in deep meditation. Krishna sat beside Balaram. In no time, he saw a long serpent come out of Balarama's mouth. What? As Balaram was an incarnation of Adi Shesha, yes. his soul in the form of a snake travelled oh. through the sea and went up to the sky, reaching the celestial abode of Sri Vishnu, the Vaikuntatham. Mm. When Krishna saw Balaram bringing his incarnation to an end, he realised that oh, his time had you. come too. Okay. After a few days, Krishna stepped into a forest and sat under a tree for some rest. The same time, the hunter Jira, who made a poisonous arrow out of the triangular metal piece, was around hunting for animals. The hunter misunderstood Krishna's moving foot for a hidden deer and shot his poisonous arrow in that direction, that's how, that's piercing how through happened. Krishna's feet. As soon as the hunter reached Krishna, he realized his mistake and oh, pleaded the Lord for forgiveness. Krishna so consoled him and explained him how his death was inevitable. Krishna said that in his previous birth as Rama in the Treta Yuga, Rama killed Bali from behind. So he had now reaped the price for the same through Jara, who oh. was King Bali in his previous birth. This story beautifully brings out the very important fact that even for the ruler of the universe, the laws of karma mm. remain the same. Thus, Lord Krishna left the mortal world. Within seven days of Krishna's death, Dwarka oh, began flooding yes, by the sea. When the charioteer sent by Krishna, Daruka, reached Hastinapur, he informed Pandavas of the tragic death of the Yadavas, including Krishna and Balaram. Pandavas sunk in great grief. Arjuna reached Dwarika and found the floods beginning to cause destruction. He decided to take the leftover women and children and move them to Indraprast from Dwarka. On their way out, some thieves saw that crowds of women and children were accompanied by only one man, Arjuna. They tried to rob them, kidnapping and killing many women and children. Arjuna, who was once a great archer, was now old and could barely lift his oh bow. My goodness. When he tried to use the divine astras, he could not remember the mantras, oh. 
to invoke the Divyastras. So what happened? Women and children were killed. No. Some sunk in a nearby river trying no. to save themselves, oh. while some set themselves on fire. Arjuna arrived to Hastinapur feeling guilty and disheartened. Oh. Arjuna. Thus, all of Gandhari's curse came That's true. true. Dwarika was consumed by the Arabian Sea. The Yadava race went extinct. Lord Krishna and Balaram had left the mortal world. Kali Yuga had arrived. The Pandavas felt that there was no purpose left for That's their existence. To know in detail about how the Pandavas brought an end to their lives after the death of Lord Krishna, have to watch the video linked in the comment below. I have to watch that too. Oh, well that was not only complicated, right? Not only complicated, you know, how it all led, I mean, that had to go through some chain of events, like the iron being born, the them crushing it and a little piece left and throwing and then the hunter finding it. That had some steps to it. Oh, but still, my heart breaks. And then, oh, and then the, they went extinct. Ugh, Gandardi's curse. Gandar thanks a lot, Gandardi. <sighs> Karma. I always believe before I even know about the Hinduists, like all the 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 practices and stuff, I I was a big believer in karma. Always have been, and it's not that look. It's not just for those of us on earth either, right? That's what they said. Even the lords, even the gods, are are subject to karma. All right, y'all. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah!